So the, the best example I can think of is, I don't know about y'all, but my parents gave me the sex talk when I was in the first grade. <laughs> the first grade! That seems very early. We were on a road trip as a family, and we had just crossed into Oklahoma. And because we are a family of white people, we all had to sing the song from the Broadway musical Oklahoma. <laughs> So the four of us, my sister and I, and my parents, were all in the car, and we're all singing, and the end of the song goes, O-K-L-A-H-O-M-A, Oklahoma, yeah! And then my father turns around in his chair and says, when a man puts his, puts his penis inside of a woman's vagina, well, that's how a baby is made. <laughs> and, and, it, and this makes a lot of sense looking back because now I'm pretty sure that I'm the only gay man that doesn't enjoy musical theater. <laughs> <laughs> only because of that traumatic experience. And I can't like why would you ever even say about Oklahoma? What the fuck is good about Oklahoma? <laughs> Um, speaking of trauma, I, I feel like I've learned since moving to New York that New Yorkers are like obsessed with trauma. Is that fair to say? <laughs> it's like, since moving here, it, it's like if they're not sharing their own trauma, they like want to hear about mine. Like when people find out that I am both gay and from Texas, they're like, oh, and she, yes, queen. <laughs> that must have been so hard for you. <laughs> How was that? Like, tell me, like, tell me like, right now. Like, how did you come out? Like, I must, I must know. So I was tell you how I came out because I know you're all dumb to know. Um, I was outed in high school by this motherfucker named Carter Schultz. That is his real name. We can all look him up on Instagram after this together. And so I was like, uh, you know, he started telling people I was gay, and I was like, ugh. I guess the Chamber of Secrets is open, like, okay, so they start telling my friends and my family, and everyone had kind of a similar response. Yeah, everyone for the most part was like, how can I make this about me? I was pissed. Even my best friend, Jessica, had that response. My best friend, and I had been there for her when her boyfriend tried to favor her during Toy Story 3. <laughs> I was her support. Where was my support, Jessica? <laughs> Here's another finger, Jessica. That's really all I have to say. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with this. I was up really late last night because I was fantasizing about my dream funeral. As in, <laughs> it's, it's great. I highly recommend. Use Pinterest. So I. <laughs> I discovered a couple of things. I think visually, my dream funeral is like a combination of the Met Gala and New York Fashion Week. Cool. Like, fierce, but confusing. <laughs> I wonder if that's a lot of questions. Or, like an icebreaker, and they'll, everyone will be divided into groups. <laughs> on the left side of the room, it's going to be friends and family, but on the other side of the room, it's going to be men that I've slept with. I was like, oh my god, well, where is my cousin Jeff? Which, uh, <laughs> is, is he gonna stay in the middle? Like, I don't know. He has to pick a team. That's what he has to do. Um, and then for entertainment, I think he like a live viewing of my cremation. I feel like that. Just like a small reception where light snacks and hard drugs will be served. Yeah, clap it up. I feel like they deserve that. I also like we all deserve light snacks and hard drugs. I think that's what's happening after the show. Um, so definitely check it out. That is my time. Thank you guys. Thank you.